stuff and nonsense so when he heard the word silence once again he is thinking in such stuff and it is totally nonsense to hell with your silence he is telling okay you say silence you go hell with your silence and he is thinking he is going on with his thoughts they had to put up this pompous show for something so trivial things were much better on the stage so he is thinking here the word trivial Trivial means useless. So here they had to put up this pompous show for something so trivial. They had kept this all show shooting and all for a useless thing. It is a useless thing what they are doing here. Things were much better on the stage. He is telling that at, on the stage he used to enjoy the acting. He used to do enjoy everything what he used to do at that time. So now this shooting and all this people gathering everything he is considering it is it all as useless. The stage, the stage. When once he thought of the stage again he is going back into his previous thoughts because he liked it very much. A faint memory was stirred up. Stirred up means it moved in his mind. A faint memory means the previously when he was acting on the stage, everything once again it stirred, it moved in his mind. Patrol Babu's mind. Some priceless words of advice given in a deep, mellow voice. Remember one thing, Patrol. However small a part you are offered, never consider it beneath your dignity to accept it. As an artist, your aim should be to make the most of your opportunity and squeeze the less, last drop of meaning out of your lines. A play involves the work of many and it is the combined effort of many that makes a success of the play. So he sat there and he is recollecting some words said by his gurus. So what they used to suggest him when he was acting on the stage as a drama artist one of his gurus told him whenever he get any chance even though it is a small role also they have to accept it and they have to perform it means present it in a such a way that he should be act, his acting should be in an extraordinary way this is the essence of the dialogues what is given by his guru to patal babu he is recollecting all those things now it was mr pakrashi who gave the advice? Gogon Pakrashi, Patrol Babu's mentor. Mentor means guru. A wonderful actor without a tract of vanity in him. A saintly person and an actor in a million. So one of his guru who is also an actor told these things to Patrol Babu when he was acting in a drama. There was something else which Mr. Pakrashi used to say. Each word spoken in a play is like a fruit in a tree. So Pakrishi is he used to tell like this also. Each word in a play is like a fruit of a tree. Even though it is a small or a big. Sing every word in the play. He considered, he used to consider it as a fruit of a tree. Not everyone in the audience has access to it. But you, the actor, must know how to pluck it. Get at its essence and serve it up to the audience for their edification. So edification means praise. So what the guru told him now, even if it is a single dialogue, one dialogue, it should be like a fruit. He should consider it as a fruit. Maybe the audience may not be having direct access towards these words. But the actor who is acting, he should deliver that word in such a way that he will be giving the fruits to the audience means in, in a praising way. So they, the, all the audience should praise him even if it is a single dialogue also. The way he delivered, the way he acted seeing that the audience should praise him. This is the way, These are the words said to Patol Babu by his guru. The memory of his guru made Patol Babu bow his head in obeisance means respect. Obeisance means respect. So the memory itself when he recollected his guru he is feeling like bending that is the respect what he had towards his guru. Was it really true that there was nothing in the path he had been given today? He had only one word to say hope but was that word so devoid 
of meaning as to be dismissed summarily. So, he was given with a single word. What the big meaning will be there in that small word? It is just a common word. Whether the people may note it or not, such a small word is given to him. Ho, 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 ho. Patel Babu began giving the exclamation a different inflection each time he uttered it. See here, even though the word is single, but that word can be given in different emotions. So that's what Patel Babu is trying now. Why he made, he uttered the word ho almost five times. But every time he is trying to con change his emotions whenever he is trying to uh, utter that word. After doing it for a number of times, he made an astonishing discovery. After repeatedly telling that word with different emotions, astonishingly he discovered, means out of a surprise, he discovered a new thing. What is that new thing? The same, same exclamation when spoken in different ways carry different shades of meaning. The ho is a one word, same explanation. When it is spoken in different emotions, it is giving different meanings, different shades of expressions it is giving. Finally, he is able to discover that. A man when hurt said ho in a quite a different way. When we get hurt, we say ho in a different way. Despair brought forth another kind of O. So, when we are in despair, we pronounce O in a different way. Sorrow provoked at another kind. When we are sorrowful, we say O in some other way. In fact, there were so many kinds of O's. The short O, the long drawn O, O shouted and O whispered. The high pitched O and the low pitched O and the O stating low and ending high and the O stating high and ending low. Finally, maybe it is a monosyllabic single word, but the same single word can be given in different ways, with different emotions, with different stress. So, th this is the discovery what Patel Babu is able to discover. Till then, what is he thinking? He is thinking just it is a small word. He got, he is feeling bad. If I go and say this small word, all the people may laugh at me. Like that he was thinking. But now he discovered a great thing. Even though the word is small, he can give that in a different expressive way. So, many ways are there to pronounce this word. So, so many ways are there to express the emotion of this word. Finally, he is able to discover this. Why had he felt so disheartened when this single word contained a good mind of meaning? The true actor could make a mark with this one single syllable. So, finally, initially he felt bad when he realized these all things. Now, he is telling a good actor. A person if he is really a good actor, if a small word is given to him, even from that small word also, he can extract the best. This is the thing what he understood. Silence. Once again, he heard the voice. Silence. The director had raised his voice again. Patel Babu could see Eng Jyoti cleaning the crowd. There was something he had to ask him. He went quickly over to him. How long will be before my turn comes, brother? Why are you so impatient, grandpa? You have to learn to be patient in this line of business. It will be another half an hour before you are called. So when this man thought like this and that when he is able to identify that there are so much behind ho. So he heard a word silence and Jyoti is trying to clear all the crowd there. Immediately he rushed near Jyoti and questioned when is he going to get his turn. Jyoti said, asked him to be a bit patient, especially in this line in the field of acting. People need to have more patience. The same advice is given by Jyoti to grandpa, means our Patol Babu and asked him to wait for another half an hour. So, so until his turn comes. That's all right. I'll certainly wait. I'll be in that side street across the road. So he said, okay, definitely no issue about it. I'll wait on the other side of the road. 
okay so long as you don't sneak off sneak off means run away so here the word sneak sneak off means run so long you do not run away from the place start sound patel babu crossed the road on tiptoe and went into the quiet little side street it was good that he had a little time on his hands while these people didn't seem to believe in rehearsals he himself would rehearse his own bit there was no one about there were office buildings so very few people lived here those who did search as shopkeepers had all gone to watch the shooting so now previously he is in a negative mood but after realizing the importance of the word ho he became a bit positive now he is feeling happy that still he had some time in his hand so he went to the other corner of the road and he observed there no other people are there all are watching this uh, shooting the people few of the shops are there even the people the owners of the shops also they left the shops and they went near the shooting to see how the shooting is going on so as he did not find any person over there he thought of rehearsing as though the people who are uh, means the director and other people they are not interested or they don't feel that it is very important to rehearsal this man is not feeling like that as he got the chance there he thought of taking some rehearsal means he wanted to rehearsal that scene patel babu cleared his throat and started enunciating the syllable in various ways along with that he worked out how he would react physically when the collision took place how his features would be twisted in pain how he would feeling out his arms how his body would crunch to express pain and surprise all this he performed in various ways in front of a large glass window so what he did this patel babu he left all those things and he started pronouncing the word in different way so not only that he also see as when the hero comes collided with him how he should move his arm what are the expressions he should give on his face how can he show the pain means when people collide with each other definitely they'll feel bad they'll get some pain how he should express that pain on his face each and every point he started acting he started doing he started rehearsing patel babu was called in exactly half an hour now he had completely got over his apathy he all he felt now was a keen anticipation and suppressed excitement it was the feeling he used to feel 20 years ago just before he stepped onto the stage so this uh, half an hour he rehearsed everything very nicely now he is very confident just by the stroke of half an hour he was called on and now he is feeling so excited almost 20 years back before stepping onto the dais how he used to feel before stepping onto the stage what the excitement he used to feel the same excitement he had now the director baron mullak called patel babu to him i hope you know what you are supposed to do he asked so the director called him near to him and asked do you know what you have to do now yes sir patel babu gave a reply with utmost confidence telling yes sir very good i'll first say start sound the recordists will play by saying running that will be your cue to start walking from that pillar and for the hero to come out of the car and make a dash for the office you work out your steps so that the collision takes place at the spot here the hero ignores you and strides into the office while you register pain by saying ho oh. stop for a couple of seconds then resume walking okay so finally the director gave the instructions to patel babu what did he say the way he should act from where he should walk where he should collide with the hero and after colli- collision what he should do how he should express and fra- after few seconds again he should resume his walk like that every part wise he explained the whole scene what this patel babu should act there
Patel Babu suggested a rehearsal, but Baron Mullak shook his head impatiently. There is a large patch of cloud approaching the sun. He said, this scene must be shot in sunlight. So Patel Babu asked because whatever the action he wanted to do, he wanted to do it perfectly without any problem. So that's the reason he requested for a rehearsal, but director did not accept that telling so the the sun may become shade the climate is not good that's why he did not accept for that one question please yes an idea had occurred to patel babu while rehearsing he now came out with it er i was thinking if i had a newspaper open in my hand and if the collation took place while I had my eyes on the paper, then perhaps. So finally, Patel Babu, before starting, uh, before uh, to start the shooting, he got an idea. When he is rehearsing itself, he got an idea that if he had a newspaper in his hand, keeping eyes on the newspaper, if you go on, there may be collation, that, that will be perhaps a good thing. So he expressed the same thing to the director. Baron Mullah cut him short by addressing a bystander who was carrying a Bengali newspaper. Do you mind handing your paper to this gentleman just for this one shot? Thanks. Now you take your position beside the pillar. Chanchal, are you ready? So finally, the director accepted the proposal given by Patel Babu and he requested one passerby to give the uh, one Bengali newspaper which he had with him. The person gave it for that particular shoot and he took it and they said ready to start the shoot. Yes sir. Good silence. Baron Mullak raised his hand then brought it down again saying just a minute. Kesto, I think if we gave the pedestrian a moustache it would be more interesting. So now the Patel Babu he took the newspaper and he is ready for the shoot. Uh, the director also said okay but all of a sudden one more idea striked into the mind of the director what is that he said that if the pedestrian had a mustache do you know what is a mustache if he had a mustache it will be more better so telling like that again he asked everyone to stop and asked the makeup man to have a mustache to patrol babu what kind sir walrus ronald coleman or butterfly I have them already. So the backup man anyhow as it is a shooting he is ready with different types of moustache. He has given all the names. Butterfly, butterfly and make it snappy. Miss snappy means quickly. So finally the director asked to use the butterfly moustache and asked him to put it very quickly. The elderly makeup man went up to Patel Babu, took out a small grey moustache from a box and stuck it on with spirit gum below patrol babu's nose finally the makeup man he went there he took out the mustache and he put that in, under the nose of the patrol babu patrol babu said i hope it won't come off at the time of the collation so patrol babu is telling that because in this scene he is going to collide with the hero so he asked the makeup man it should not come out at the time of collation the makeup man smiled. Collation, he said, even if you were to wrestle with Dara Singh, the moustache would stay in place. So what the makeup man, the makeup man gave a reply telling that, not collation, even go, you go for a wrestling match with Dara Singh, even though they would, the moustache won't move from its place. Patrol Babu had a quick glance in a mirror with the man was holding. True enough, the moustache suited him very well. Patel Babu inwardly commanded the director's perspicacity. Patel Babu inwardly commanded the director's perspicacity. So finally, he took the mirror which the ma makeup man has. He took it. He looked at it. He had a glance at his face and he looked that it is appropriate. It is good. And the ability he had, he had an ability to understand somebody or something quickly and accurately means the gestures the instructions given by the other people so, so again immediately the director also said silence silence the business with the mustache had provoked a wave of comments from the spectators while barack mullak sh shout now silenced patrol babu noticed that most of the bystanders eyes were turned towards him now patrol babu now he is feeling that he is given some importance 
he felt now he is comfortable with his dialogue now he is given with a, a mustache and all the people started observing him now he saw that the people as a sight got turned towards him running patel babu cleared his throat 1 2 3 4 5 five steps would take him to the spot where the collation was to take place and chenchal kumar would have to walk four steps so if both were to start together patel babu would have to walk a little faster than the hero or else so finally to take the collation patel babu need to take five steps and the hero need to take four steps so what he did he thought he thought that he need to work more fast than the hero to have the collation in the place where the director indicated running patel babu held the newspaper open in his hand what he had to do when saying ho was mix 60 parts of irritation with 40 parts of surprise see here out of 100 the expression should be a mixture of irritation and surprise so, so irritation in the sense as they both get collided he'll get pain out of the pain we get irritated and surprise because as this man is completely involved in reading the newspaper this ma- person won't be observing who is coming in front after collision all of a sudden he should give the expression which is a mixture of both irritation and surprise action clop 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 warm generally before starting any scene they say clap so the same thing patel babu saw stars before his eyes the hero's head had banged against the forehead and an excruciating pain had dropped him on his senses for a few seconds so when the scene started both of them collided to each other and this patel babu felt some irritation some pain and every expression he gave exactly but the next moment by a supreme effort of will patel babu pulled himself together and mixing 50 parts of anguish with 25 of surprise and 25 of irritation carried ho and after a brief pause resumed his walk so finally with so many different expressions coming together mixing showing on his face finally he said ho and he started resuming after few seconds cut was that right asked patel babu anxiously stepping towards baron mullak jolly good why you are quite an actor shashanku just take a look at the sky through the dark glasses will you jyoti now came up to patel babu and said i hope grandpa wasn't hurt too badly so finally the director got satisfied with the scene patel babu he inquired how is the scene and he got a very positive reply and again all the people started working shashanko said that the scene went on well and jyoti came near to grandpa and asked whether he got hurt badly my god said chanchal kumar massaging his head you timed it so well that i nearly passed out even chanchal kumar also said the timing is very appropriate and he massaged his head telling that it is a bit hard naresh that elbowed his way through the crowd came up to patel babu and said please go back where you were standing i'll come to you in a short while and do the necessary immediately naresh that he came forward and asked her patel babu to wait in the place where he was waiting previously and he told that i'll come to you again for doing all the necessary things patel babu took his place once again at by the pan shop the cloud had just covered the sun and brought down the temperature nevertheless patel babu took off his woolen jacket and then heaved a sigh of relief a feeling of total satisfaction swept over him finally again he he went back near the pan shop now he is with utmost satisfaction the job which is assigned to him he did it successfully that satisfaction we can see in patel babu now he had done his job really well all these years of struggle hadn't blunted his sensibility gongon pakrashi would have been pleased with his performance but all the labor and imagination he had put into this one shot were these people able to appreciate that he doubted it they just got hold of some people 
got them to go through certain motions, paid them for their labor and forgot all about it. Paid them, yes, but how much? 10, 15, 20 rupees? It is true that he needed money very badly. But what was 20 rupees when measured against the intense satisfaction of a small job done with perfection and dedication? So what is he thinking? He stood there itself. Why Nareshdath asked him to wait there to require to do all the necessary things? Necessary things means they need to give some money because this person acted in the role. So this man is standing there and thinking. So if those people come and give him 10, 15 or 20 rupees, maybe money is important to everybody. No one can say no to that. But what is the utmost satisfaction what he got, got with his perfect acting that is valueless? That we cannot uh, compare with any money and all the satisfaction what he received is great, very great, very which is very high than money. So to what extent these people will be remembering these all things? They may give money and send them away. There is no guarantee whether they remember the way he acted or not. But he got very good satisfaction which is more than the money what they are going to pay for him. 10 minutes or so later, Naresh Dath went looking for Patrol Babu near the pan shop and found that he was not there. So after 10 minutes, Naresh Dath went near the pan shop to give some money to Patrol Babu but he was not there. See here how much respect he gives to the acting. The satisfaction is far more than money. That's why he did not wait for money there. He left the place with the satisfaction, with the confidence what he received. That's all. The man hadn't been paid yet. What a strange fellow. So, Naresh Dath is thinking like this. We did not pay the money. What a strange fellow he is. He acted and he did not take the money. Instead of taking, without taking the money itself, he left the place. The sun has come out. Baron Mulak was heard shouting, silence, silence. Naresh, hurry up and get these people out of the way. So finally, as they were expecting, the climate got totally changed and again these people, so just Naresh thought he left, that's all. After that, they did not even think about him. They again went back into their regular shooting work. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.